Hello, so welcome to the video. So, yeah, thank you for 50 subscribers. Um, I think that's really awesome. I know there are a lot of channels with a lot more, but I really think that 50 subscribers is a, it's pretty awesome. Um, anyways, so, yeah, let's cover the topic of this video, um, this little special. Um, how I learned to 3D model cars and some mistakes that I made and how you could probably do better, uh, um, on your journey or whatever, um, yeah, just covering how I learned, um, as I've received a few requests here and there on and off YouTube asking how I learned to 3D model. So yeah, let's get right into the topic of today's video. So I started 3D modeling cars about a year and a half ago, and my first car was a Corvette C6R, maybe C7R, and it was a mess. Um, I started off where everyone else starts off, and that is the Kevin Glant How to 3D Model a Car Blender tutorial. Amazing tutorials. Of course, when I started off, I had, had no knowledge of 3D software at all, and Blender was really intimidating. I mean, I started off on like 2.7 something, uh, 2.78 maybe, and it was, it was, oh, even for that date, it was ugly. I mean, it was really, it looked like it was from the early 2000s. Um, 2.8 and 2.9 beta look a lot better. That's what I'm going to say. Um, and I made that car and I didn't really pay attention to tutorials that much. All I did was watch how to extrude and fill, um, and not to make triangles, but my topology was still a mess since I just add loop cuts whenever I wanted. Um, and I didn't know about normals, so there was a lot of stuff facing the wrong way so you can see it and I didn't know about smooth shading I knew it existed but I didn't know it. it exported to Roblox so it was a mess it was ugly I didn't know how to scale it down everything about it ugh. I mean really anyways um I made some smaller projects here and there that I didn't finish because I didn't save them yeah really I'm an idiot I thought that when you saved it it would delete the mirror modifier or would just apply it or something that doesn't even make any sense, but okay. Um, next project, but after that, Dodge Neon SRT4, my first real uh, Blender car. Um, and that was a really fun project to work on. It's not that pretty. It hasn't stood the test of time, to say the least. Um, but it was a fun project, and I learned a lot. And um, everyone was really helpful when I uh, didn't know why the shading was weird. Um, actually, used smooth shading for that one no subdivision surface that wouldn't come for a while um but yeah so um I didn't really 3d model much after that um because it was just I didn't really uh, I wasn't used to it so the workflow so it was kind of like not something that was super fun all the time um but my next project was a significant amount after that a few months maybe three four um, and that was, um, Mazda RX-8. That turned out a lot better, um, for the headlights. I actually UV unwrapped them, um, and that turned out quite well. Same with the taillights. Um, but it was, uh, lacking in a few places still. Um, and I wouldn't really learn how to, uh, make them a lot better than that for a significant amount of time. Um, it has, uh, it's it I really like it. I think it turned out nice for what it was. Uh but it certainly could use it certainly could be a lot better. Um next project was a little kit car thing. Um and I made that in like 2 hours uh just for fun to make something quickly. Um and it turned out well. Uh it was it was uh interesting. Mm, yeah. Um and I didn't really uh do much again after that, uh, until really quite recently, maybe, uh, like six months ago, I really started to get back into th 3D modeling, um, uh, yeah, so there was, um, some, some more of the same, basically, as the, uh, uh Mazda, um, and I made a ton of projects, uh, that really didn't get any better than the RX-8, and I was really disappointed with that. Um, and then I started working on 
uh, my game Rally Blocks, um, where I actually UV unwrapped the entire car. And while that was a fun process for at first, and it allowed me to make cars really quickly, it, it really didn't have a lot of detail, as I would make them really low poly and then just slap a texture over them. Really unsatisfied with that. So recently, past month, two months, uh, I sat down um, uh, and decided to rewatch some tutorials. Now, I was actually told by somebody else to go back and watch some tutorials since they thought I could learn a lot from them. And I did a little bit, uh, but I didn't really um, pay too much attention. So I thought, oh, I've already watched them. I don't need to watch them again. Um, when in reality, I totally should have watched them again. And watching them all over again is how I've gotten way better in these past four months. Better than like all of the rest of the other stuff. Um, so, yeah, I decided to, uh, sorry about my watch. Um, yeah, so after my projects, after Rally Blocks, I'm like, yeah, I'm not improving, so I've rewatched some tutorials, um, and they really started to improve. Uh, my Audi A4, uh, that was better than anything I'd 3D modeled before. It was still a mess, though. Um, there's not, there's a lot that I really wish I could do differently about that. Um, one of the, that was being, one of those being, uh, the grill and the panel gaps. Um, yeah, that was a mess. Uh, the panel gaps were a mess. Um, cause, yeah. <laughs> so, I definitely, for my next car, uh, Nissan S13, Sylvia, um, I rewatched that tutorial a lot and, uh, made them look good. Dodge Challenger after that, uh, yeah, it's been getting a lot better, um, so if there's anything you can take away from this, it would be to rewatch tutorials if you're not improving, because if you're not improving, um, and you're just doing the same thing over and over again, there's, that's the reason you probably are missing something, um, uh, for me, it was making actual panel gaps, knowing how to do that, um, and actually use all the tools I had at my disposal, um, instead of just, uh, doing what I was doing, um, so, uh, yeah, just rewatch tutorials, uh, and you can always improve, um, so, yeah, also, thank you for 50 subscribers, um, yeah, uh, hopefully, one day, we can make it to 100, or something, anyways, yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye, uh, see you in the next video.